my name is Dorothy, and this is my dog Toto. Most people know us from the story The Wizard of Oz, which was written by L. Frank Baum. You can see his portrait here above the fireplace. What many people don't know, however, is that prior to his death in 1919, Mr. Baum wrote a total of 14 Oz stories. These books have been so popular that they are still in print today, and most of these wonderful stories haven't been made into video. This work is the Patchwork Girl of Oz. The story contains many of the characters in the original movie, myself and Toto included, but also has many different and unique creatures and people. I'll give you a short rundown on the story. Ojo, a young munchkin boy, and his uncle Nunky had lived alone in the middle of the forest for many years. They had run out of food and they were forced to go on a journey to look for some. The first place they stopped was at the house of the crooked magician, Dr. Pipt, and his wife, Margolot. Dr. Pipt had just finished creating a magical powder of life, which he had been working on for six years. Margolot had made a patchwork girl, which he intended to bring to life so that she could have a servant to help her with her chores. Unfortunately, when the charm was worked, there was a horrible accident, and Unc Nucky and Margolot were both transformed into marble. Ojo promised Dr. Pip that he would travel throughout the land of Oz to gather ingredients for a magical counter charm in order to restore his uncle to life. The patchwork girl and the glass cat, another magical creature that Dr. Pip had created, began his journey with him. During their journeys, he met the woozy, from which he needed three hairs from its tail. Many dangers were encountered, and they were almost eaten by cannibal plants, and they were attacked by a giant porcupine that could shoot its quills at them. He also had to pick a six-leaf clover, which was against the laws of Oz. It caused him to get arrested when he got to the Emerald City. Since he needed a gill of water from a dark well, he had to travel into the mountains where he met the hoppers and the horners. It was necessary to travel to the Winky Country, which was ruled over by the Tin Woodman. To only mention a few of the other people Ojo met, there was Ozma the Ruler, the Lazy Quadling, the Scarecrow and the Sawhorse, Jack Pumpkinhead, and many, many more. We hope that you'll join us to share in the enchantment that this story brings.